Hello, my name is Sana, and welcome back to another video about the Inventory Master Asset. Today I'm going to show you how to create a backpack system uh, so that the, uh, uh, when you're gearing a backpack or yeah, like a backpack that the size of the inventory is getting changed um, yeah, by the item. Um, the first thing which I've, do, uh, which I've done is um, to create the item. Um, so go to open item database and add an item. I've done this before. Um, I created um, two backpacks, uh, yeah, called backpack and backpack two, and um, yeah, the first one gives uh, 30 slots. Um, I've added an attribu attribute with slots and added a value of 30, so that I know this uh, backpack gives me 30 uh, slots, and the other one gives me 36. Um, yeah, has the same attributes. Um, I, I've created a new item type, so when you want to add a new item type, or you have to to add an it item type um, for the backpack, because yeah, you have to define or you have to know which item type it has. So I've added this here like this, and yeah, this is how to create the item. Um, yeah, the next thing which we have to do, we have to go in to go into the play inventory script, and yeah our normal size of our inventory is um is twenty four slots um I define this here uh, actually you see this also uh four by six and yeah the next thing which we have to do we have to create events um we're gonna do um new functions for this um uh, if you have some questions about the inventory uh, or about the event system of the inventory system uh, you can write me an email or just l take a look in the script API, uh, API. Um, there are some informations how they are working um, actually you only need to call the inventory dot um, then there's a event is called um, on equip oops no item equipped and we're gonna create a function which is called um, on backpack, oops, backpack, and we need one when we, um, yeah, when we unequip this item, um, and this is called um, unequip backpack. So when we have done this, we also need this in our uh, on disable function, just as minus and with plus. Okay. And now we have to create this functions uh, void on backpack. Um, this uh, this event um, gives you a, um, yeah gives you an attribute um, the item and yeah tag it. Uh, this is very important uh, yeah because you have to get any information about it. And we need the unequip um, backpack function. So when we have done this. Um, we ah, uh, yeah. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, when we have done this, uh, we have to check if this item type is um, equals a uh, item pi uh, type backpack, so that we know this item is a backpack. Um, and then we have to go through all the. Um, all the item attributes, maybe uh, your backpack gives you also health or something like this, or more armor, I don't know. So um, I go through all the item attributes and, oops, dot count. And, whoops, I've double, doubled this, okay. And if uh, the item attribute is, um, has the a attribute name uh, slot or slots? Um, we're gonna do something. Um, in our example, we want to change the size of the inventory, um, and for this, we also need another function. Uh, we're gonna create void change inventory size, and uh, we need a parameter, and we call this in size, and we're gonna do this later. Um, yeah, change inventory size. Um, we give this attribute, oh, uh, so we send the functional attribute, uh, so we need to send this uh, functional attribute, and we will give um, it 
the attribute which we have passed in before uh, we have uh, when we have created the item so um, the attribute value um, yeah when we have done this uh, we have to change the size um, there's also in the script API uh, yeah, an example for it um, yeah but we're gonna do this here um, so when um, yeah we got a a, st um, a, st a normal size or the star size of, of 24 so if um, yeah if the normal size is um, or is the size which we get from uh, from anywhere uh, is 24 we're gonna um, and we we have to do something with it and in this example we're gonna do main inventory dot uh, width is equals uh, 6 and main inventory dot height is equals 4 and uh, main inventory dot update slot it has to be called now uh, slot amount um, so in this um, function we uh, just change the amount of slots and then we also have to adjust the inventory sites um, yeah uh, we also got a whoops else if we also got uh, a size of 30 30 and this is the same only changed uh, only one number is, uh, is getting, has to be changed this is maybe not the best solution but it is one solution and is the easiest way at the moment so uh, yeah and we got another one with 36 and then we got this um, okay let me just explain you now how this works uh, don't forget to add um, yeah the items to it um, I've done this before and yeah don't forget to go to the equipment system and set one slot to backpack um, I start this now and when I right click now you see the backpack, backpack is getting bigger um, when I take this one also but it, it's only uh, yeah it's changing now when I uh, equip this item but when I take this out it doesn't uh, go back to the normal size this is something which we have to code now as well, uh, we also ask if the item dot item type is equals to the item type um, of backpack. When this I it is, then we want to change the inventory size. Um, uh, in this uh, we only need um, 24. And um, actually, so all we can also can say normal size. So um, yeah, when we got this here, we can start this again. And you will see this is working now. When you right click and I take this out, it's getting back to the old size. And when I right click again, this one is getting bigger. And I know it's maybe not the best padding here. Uh, this is something which you have to do on your own. Um, uh, you see it's getting stretched and the position of the slots are maybe not perfectly. Um, there is a script API, uh, API uh, how I said. Um, you can uh, go into it and you will see there are some informations also about padding how to change this um, yeah script uh, with with scripts and um, yeah here's something uh, no where was it actually it's in so don't worry um, otherwise you can also write me an email I will uh, message you as fast as I can normally in maximum maximum of one day. Um, yeah, this is how this works. Um, next video will be about um, how to do something like a, a workstation. I've done this here, uh, so we are running like in Minecraft to uh, to this workstation, and you can open it, and you only can craft on this one, and not uh, when you are running around and do not have this workstation at you on uh, or near you. So actually, this is how uh, this is what I want to show you in next uh, tutorial. And yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, see you. Bye-bye.